we're gonna unbox this um, is a well how about it's a surprise but let me just say that this one this is uh, for the CNC router and it is extremely extremely nice um, I've seen reviews on uh, I've seen reviews on uh, e uh, YouTube about these and extremely extremely nice so I had to buy one because I'm building the uh, the CNC so instead of buying one that was cheap I bought a really expensive one um, so that I could get good, good quality parts and not a lot of trouble so take me a minute to open up this here crate But I'll tell you right now, ordering stuff from China, the, the tariff um, kind of hits you hard. Um, which kind of sucks a little bit for, for me because I'm trying to start a business and, and the, the tariff doesn't take it, that into account. And I can't buy this here um, in the States. They don't make it. So... Um, I'm kind of stuck having to buy it um, in China, and, but you know nobody's making stuff here anymore. So what do you do? And then because I need it, and if I buy it from somebody here in America, they just got it from China and they're just passing on the, the freight cost um, to me. So there's no difference. Um, but I like ordering my own stuff, and you know you have to wait a little longer. But that's okay. I don't mind waiting for it. But they call you with this big bill from uh, customs. It kind of scares you a little bit. <laughs> you don't know what the bill's going to be till they till they tally it up. So, but, uh, this is extremely. This is a very expensive part. So they they boxed it up pretty good. in there. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll know what this is. Some of you may already know what it is now. But uh, maybe if you see these, you'll, you'll know what it is. It's a uh, nice call it. So, two call it. A wrench. Another wrench. High quality. I call it, but they work. All right, so okay, this is heavy. We set this aside for right now. I'll keep unboxing. We'll open that up here in a second. Okay, we get rid of that. Uh, there. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. like a uh, something <laughs> never mind um, but yeah nice bracelet what do you think? Oh, nice bracket I don't know if it's painted yeah they painted that okay all right and 
got the some of you guys probably figured out what this is I'm sure but I've got me a nice fish aquarium pump oh, look at that there's your filter bag <laughs> nice <laughs> You know, in the in the uh, when you order stuff <laughs> in the pictures, it looks so much bigger and better than it does <laughs> like this. Oh my God! But what do you? It's like ten bucks. I mean, it's a water pump. So, let's see. Oh, well, it comes with some suction cups. Keep it on the bottom of the bucket. All right. And, okay. All right, so anyway, a little water pump. And we have uh, we have our tool holders. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, these are really nice. Really nice. There's your air nozzle goes in there. Uh, if some of y'all ain't figured this out yet, that is nice. That is super nice. Got a little bit of coating on it. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so these are 116 US dollars a piece. Um, and they don't make them. It's so where you buy this from, um, they don't make these. They buy these and they buy the collets. Um, but I would rather buy these from them because they trust whoever's making these um, to work in their machines and their machines are, are some of the best that I've ever seen um, like 24,000 RPM the thing is uh, hardly hardly uh, it's like five decibels I mean it's so quiet so anyway there's one there's two two collets I mean two tool holders um, for the two collets and I'm going to end up with five five collets um, or a whole assortment of collets and five tool holders uh, and last but not least now we can move this out of the way with all of that and we're going to open up this inverter See how big it is. I got a spur, but I don't think it's this big. Okay. Right, there we go. Uh, some phonics or some phoenix. That's phoenix, but it's probably some phonics. Let's see, type E550, uh, 2S0040B, then boy, or Bravo, source, single phase, 220, 50 to 60 hertz, output 6.3 kVA or 16.5 amp. Um, so, this is the inverter. So, and I got, they, they sent me a uh, wiring, they actually sent me a wiring diagram um, of, uh, of how to hook this up. So, um, with, uh, with the software I'm going to be running, um, how to, how to make it work with the software, um, which is really cool. Um, it's very simple, um, but there's a lot of people I, from what I understand online that's had big trouble um, trying to figure out how to get their uh, how to get their software to work with the inverters. Um, but they just sent they sent it right to me. I was like, well, that's all you do. So that's great. So all the stuff we're going to be doing, and making videos. Of. So all right. So now we're going to open up this drum roll or something. Alright, so this is what I want to open right now. Over that way. This thing weighs 30 pounds. So I want to I don't want to get that knife into it. So cut up. Okay, 
and this this thing is uh, not cheap. It's not cheap at all. Okay, now I know that you are thinking it looks like a bomb, <laughs> uh, but it's not. It's a CNC. Or it's actually just a router spindle, uh, water cooled, uh, 24,000 RPM, and these things are nice. Um, this one I believe was, oh, shoot, I can't think of even how much it was, 1,400 US dollars. Um, I think it was 1,400 for all this. Um, yeah. what it does that's nice and what uh yeah i see what the person i read that i saw this from i could see awesome um let's see where you're saying that's such a nice finish inside of there um uh what happens is there's an air nozzle in the top of this um there's an air nozzle that's in the top of this um, that you put air into. And what happens is that, that blows the air out around the edge of the, uh, um, around the edge here where you put your collet or your tool holder in and it, it keeps the chips from getting inside of the, uh, inside of the uh, spindle. Um, the, uh, it's also got a tool changer. So it's an automatic tool changer. Um, so it's got, got that built in so um, it's got its water um, it's got uh, it's got water let's see so you've got right here it's got water so you got your water inlet you've got your air um, what's that sea lead whatever that means got your water outlet it's the inlet outlet sensor it's also got a heat sensor in it um, that overheats um, your air inlet I think that's to remove the collet it may do both uh, now let's see what do you got here um, dust removal okay so here's your dust removal and here's your air return so your dust removal is right here this right here is to um, to release the tool the tool head and this is your air return so I gotta get I gotta read the manual on this but um, this is let me set this camera back down show you who makes it here so you can read it or the model numbers JGL dash 100 slash 3 dot 2R24-25, 3.2 kW, 220 volts, 8.8 .8 amps, uh, 800 hertz, 24,000 RPM, uh, uh, and it's made by Jainten, J-I-A-N-K-E-N, -E High Speed Electric Motor Company Limited. Um, it goes 24, it goes up to 24,000 revolutions per minute. Um, and this thing is quiet. And um, so that's what I've got. Um, and this is all came with it. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to put this cap back on here. Man, this thing is heavy. Put the cap on that. Stand it up, and it's going to be that. So that is a thing of beauty right there. So if you're in the market for a spindle, this is not cheap. But uh, there's also look at the review uh, Fox something. I'm not sure. I'll put a link in the in the description for the for for his uh, video. He does a really 
thorough breakdown. He's, he uh, he mics the edges. He puts this on a piece of granite. Shows that there's not even daylight coming through the granite. Um, it's machined so so nice. Um, uh, the tool head. I mean, he he mic'd it. He's no, there's no run out on this thing. This is going to be true. Um, and then you get this honking bracket for the uh, see for the uh, the axis. Um, so yeah, I mean, we got some exciting things getting ready to, to happen around here. So um stay tuned uh tell your friends if they're into this kind of stuff uh, we're going to be building the cnc lathe from scratch um doing all this stuff from scratch building the airplane parts from scratch um i've got airplane parts up there those are nose ribs wing skins um i'm just just making parts as i go and making templates and forms so um if you're into that kind of stuff we'll be doing a little bit of everything here it's not just one thing it's uh it's building the tools, making the tools from scratch, uh, building the building the parts, building the templates and forms for the parts. Um, it's everything. So uh, tell everybody that you know about it. Uh, I'd really like to get some uh, subscribers and uh, get some people watching. Then I'll do some live some live stuff. Um, actually making the parts or uh, building the tools or whatever. Um, I can do live, you know, all day long. Doesn't matter. Uh, so anyway, um, I'll be back. We're gonna do another, another op uh, box open. Um, I've got one more to do, and uh, and then I can start assembling the the uh, bandsaw, and I'll put a little bit of video of that too. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.